Welcome back to Unraveling Mechanics, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of mechanics and their inner workings. In today's episode, we're going to unravel the mystery behind generators. What they are, how they work, and the principles that make them tick. So, let's get started. What is a generator? To put it simply, a generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It's an essential tool that powers our world by producing the electricity we use in our homes, businesses, and industries. Working Principle Let's delve deeper into the mesmerizing phenomenon that underlies the operation of generators. The Electromagnetic Induction This fundamental principle, discovered by the brilliant Michael Faraday in the 19th century, revolutionized our understanding of how electricity can be generated from motion and how generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Imagine a scenario where a magnet moves inside a coil of wire. As the magnet moves, it creates a changing magnetic field around the coil. This changing magnetic field induces a voltage across the ends of the wire, causing electrons to flow and generating an electric current. This phenomenon, known as electromagnetic induction, is the magical interaction that lies at the heart of generators. Components of a generator A generator consists of several key components that work together to produce electricity. These components include the rotor and stator for electromagnetic induction, the prime mover to supply mechanical energy, the voltage regulator to maintain a consistent output, the control systems to monitor performance, and the cooling system to manage heat rotor and stator. First, we have the rotor, often referred to as the armature. The rotor is equipped with a set of electromagnets or permanent magnets, depending on the type of generator. As the rotor spins, it generates the moving magnetic field required for electromagnetic induction. Next, we have the stator, which is a stationary component surrounding the rotor. The stator houses a series of coils made of insulated wire. These coils are strategically positioned to interact with the rotor's magnetic field and generate an electric current as a result. Prime Mover and Voltage Regulator The prime mover is another critical element that provides the necessary mechanical energy to drive the generator. Prime movers can vary widely, ranging from steam turbines fueled by coal, natural gas, or nuclear reactions, to internal combustion engines powered by diesel or gasoline. Wind turbines and hydroelectric generators use the power of wind or flowing water to spin the rotor. Solar panels capture sunlight to produce electrical energy. The choice of prime mover often depends on the available resources and the intended application of the generator. The voltage regulator is responsible for maintaining a consistent voltage output from the generator. It accomplishes this by adjusting the generator's excitation current, which, in turn, controls the strength of the magnetic field produced by the rotor. By ensuring a steady voltage, the voltage regulator contributes to a stable and reliable power supply. Control systems and cooling system. Control systems are the brains of the generator, ensuring smooth operation and optimal performance. They monitor critical parameters such as voltage, frequency, and load in real time. If any of these parameters deviate from the desired range, the control systems make automatic adjustments to maintain the electrical output within acceptable limits. This dynamic control ensures that the generator responds to changing demands without compromising the quality of the electricity it produces. The cooling system is essential to manage the heat generated during electricity production. As the generator operates, both electrical current and mechanical motion generate heat. The cooling system dissipates this heat, preventing overheating and ensuring the generator's efficiency and durability. Cooling methods include air cooling, where fans circulate air around the components, and liquid cooling, where a cooling fluid absorbs and carries away the excess heat. 
Steps of Electricity Generation Step 1. Mechanical Energy Input Let's now walk through the captivating steps of electricity generation within a generator. It all begins with the input of mechanical energy. This energy is typically supplied by a prime mover, which can range from a steam turbine in a power plant to a diesel engine in a portable generator. The prime mover sets the generator's rotor into motion. Step 2. Rotor's Rotation As the rotor spins, it sets in motion a dynamic magnetic field. This magnetic field is crucial for the process of electromagnetic induction, the heart of how generators function. Step 3. Electromagnetic Induction Within the stationary stator, a series of coils made of insulated wire awaits the rotor's magnetic field. As the rotor's magnetic field rotates around the stator's coils, it induces a flow of electrons, creating an electric current in the coils. Step 4. Electric Current Generation this induced electric current is a direct result of the rotor's movement and the interaction with the stator's coils. The strength of this electric current depends on factors like the speed of the rotor's rotation and the properties of the coils. Step 5. Current Collection and Control. The generated electric current is then collected and channeled through the generator's components. The voltage regulator plays a critical role here, ensuring that the output voltage remains steady and within acceptable limits, regardless of fluctuations in load. Step 6. Monitoring and Regulation. A suite of control systems monitors the generator's performance in real time. These systems keep a watchful eye on factors like voltage, frequency, and load. They make instant adjustments to maintain a consistent and reliable electrical output. Step 7. Heat Dissipation. Throughout this process, heat is generated due to the flow of electric current and mechanical motion. The cooling system diligently manages this heat, preventing any temperature-related issues and ensuring the generator's efficient operation. Step 8. Electricity Distribution. With all these steps working harmoniously, the resulting electric current is now ready for distribution. It can be routed through power lines to homes, businesses, industries, and wherever else electricity is needed. Types of Generators Generators come in various types, such as Diesel generators, gas generators, wind turbines, and even solar panels. Each type has its unique way of harnessing mechanical energy to produce electricity. Applications The applications of generators are incredibly diverse. They are used in power plants to generate electricity on a massive scale, in homes as backup power during outages, on construction sites, and even in remote areas where a stable power grid might be unavailable. And there you have it, a glimpse into the captivating world of generators. We've covered their fundamental working principle, components, and various types. Generators are the unsung heroes that keep our world illuminated and powered. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the mechanics of generators. If you enjoyed this episode and want to learn more about the inner workings of machines, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Unraveling Mechanics. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. Until next time, keep exploring and unraveling the mysteries of mechanics.